All right, I've got the boat cleaned off. I trimmed the front of my steering thing here. I even replaced the oil in the motor gears at the back there. Got my paint. And uh, I think I'm ready to go. Oh, yeah, I also have a paintbrush and a screwdriver to open the paint. First, I'm just going to start with blue. And right now, there's some good sun. I'm going to do a last minute weather check. Just to hopefully see that it's not going to rain today. Well, should be clear this afternoon. It might rain tonight a little. However, it's still in the morning. So as long as I have the rest of the day of good sun, the paint should be basically, you know, at least waterproof by the time it rains. All right. Okay, one coat of bluish. I'm going to need at least two, maybe three. I might be able to get away with two coats. Yeah. Yeah, we're good so far. I didn't even get myself too much. Wait, what's your question? I used most of my can of blue there. Now I have a can of black and a can of white. I want to paint, I want to paint white tiger stripes on the boat and then have some black accents, I guess. I'm going to need another can of blue, so I guess I need to go to town kind of ASAP. It's like a whole day trip going there and back. You know what? I probably have enough of this blue left to do the side here and then the other side. And that's where the tiger stripes are going to be anyway. And then maybe on the... Maybe I'll see how far the blue goes. And maybe I can get this whole pontoon and that one, but none of the inside. I don't know. Wherever it goes up to, I could just do gray for the inside part. That would be kind of cool. I have plenty of gray. I mean, black and white. I can just mix them up. No, I don't have gray. I have black and I have white, which means I have gray. That actually sounds like a good idea. I can paint with the blue until the blue runs out and then dump a bunch of white and black in there into that can. Then I still have my white and black and then I'll have a can of slightly bluish gray. Well, I think that sounds like a good idea. Hmm. I think that's pretty good. Wait a second, let's see. Hmm, yeah, I think I want to make them gray. So I don't necessarily want black on the boat, because black, even if it's just little stripes, like black will absorb heat more than that or that. Well, that's kind of cool. I don't know, somewhere between there and there. Right, I think I can make that with that paint roller, more or less. Yeah. Wow, oh, this looks like garbage so far, but I'm trusting my process. My brain says it should work out. <laughs> so I'm doing one, one strip of color and then I add a bit more white. And I'm just going to keep adding more white as I go.
stuff. I didn't have enough blue to really start with straight blue, so I added some white before I even started. Which I wasn't planning to do, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, not bad. You can definitely see some roller marks. Oh, I knew that would be there. However, <clears throat> I'm hoping the roller marks will be kind of uh, distracted from by the tiger stripes. So let's see how that goes. I don't really have time to blend this better. It's good enough. Guess I need to wait for these to dry a little before I can paint the sides. Got here. Well, that looks like a tiger stripey color, if you ever ask me. Uh, looks great. I guess I need to change my roller color. Maybe I'll paint that this color. Yeah, by the time I get that painted, I should be recolored here. Ooh, nice color. Good enough for me. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I think I think that's pretty much it. All right. Whoa, cool, man. So these ones I did with the roller. These ones I did with the brush. I think I like the brush ones more. Ah. Whew. Not bad. Well, that was pretty good. I don't know what I'll paint the middle like. I'll probably just paint these gray or something. Sweet. Well, I had a couple hours before the sun goes down, so I painted the interior. You know, all this part in here and these hatches and those posts, all that stuff back there. I think it's looking pretty good. The only thing I still have to do is these guys up here and those things, little posts. But there's nowhere to stand up here because this is all fresh paint. So I'll just do that later. I want to have to paint the motor area back there too. I did do the rudder. I just didn't do the motor because I already painted in front of it so I couldn't get to it. <laughs> oh, I'm silly. Yeah, that's looking great. Well, hold on. Let's get it in a good shot so I can make a nice thumbnail. Yeah, that's the thumbnail right there, right? Yeah! Oh, maybe I should be in the thumbnail. Oh, uh, okay, that's good. All right, Jamie, get on the boat. 
Alright, don't touch any paint. Whoa, crap! Oh, I touched some paint. Oh, that's a footprint. Nice. Let's fix that. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, let's see, what do I do now? Yeah? Alright, that was pretty good. Hey, ah, hoo hoo. <laughs> Okay, let me get off the boat before I screw up the paint anymore. 